Hello, another bit of equipment test today. Today I've got two of these to try. Don't know what you want to call them, Harmons or Wawa. This one's called a Chris Owens Chili Wawa. And it's made by um, a company in Sweden called Ulven. Ulven. Handmade in Sweden, Lasse Lindgren Music Constellation. And um, the first thing you notice about them is they're unbelievably solid. I mean, the manufacturer just seems, the manufacturer just seems incredible. I mean, some of the most solidly well-made mutes I think I've ever had in my hands. This is amazing. So, let's start off with the um, more basic one, if you like. Um, the price of these are a little bit on the high side. Um, relative to other things on the market. You're looking at about 120 euros for this one, about 140 for Chriso's, Chriso being Christian Lindbergh, by the way. So Chriso Lindbergh's Chili Wawa is the more expensive one. It's about um, 140 euros. This is the basic one. Um, let's give them a try and see if they're worth that bit of extra money. Certainly from the feel. I like that. So. Shall we start off? Let's start off and do the uh, intonation test, Joe. Let's uh, let's see what happens here. <laughs> Practically identical, one or two cents up. Which I think is incredible. Fits really nicely in this this belt. Sits really beautifully. Goes in. Um, let's give it a try. Huh? <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> That's a good wah as well, doesn't it? Um, let's see what it's like without the um, tubing. You know the one thing that I'm not sure about this, I think if you buy one of these you can probably reckon on that felt in there needing replacing at some point in the life of the mute. But frankly they feel so well made, you're only ever going to need one, I would think. Um, so let's try it without. Now that's going to be in the lower register, but I don't know one that doesn't. Now, Lasser Lincoln supplies these with these tubes. Um, let's see what or if it makes a difference. Oh wow, wow, that stabilizes everything really nicely. What if I push it in a bit further? Wow, that works, that works really pretty well, I must say. I'm very impressed with this. There's one thing that I would say you need to watch out for this is if you've got small hands. My hands are relatively big, so I can get hold of it quite easily to insert in the belt. But my lovely wife, who has smaller hands than me, tried it as well. I've got a dent on it because she just couldn't get her 
hands around the mute enough. You know, you really need to be able to get from there to there to turn. If, you, if you're going to do that with it, there's not much room down here to get in there. But uh, other than that, I'd pay 120 euros for that. I think that's, that's really, I think that's worth the money. That's, that's really cool. And it's not just nice to see something that's been so well made. Um, the quality is really obvious, really, you know. And it sounds great. Points, how many points would I give that? For a Harman mute, I'd give that 96 points, I think. With a slight reservation, if you have small hands, it might be difficult to insert it. Um, I mean, and this is all given me playing on my extremely wonderful trombone. Um, but it is a pretty standard. It's a standard shape bell, it's a standard throat bell there. Right now, let's have a look at Chrissy Wissy's, what, what is it? Chrissy's Chili Wawa, Chrissy Wissy's Chili Wawa. Uh, this, now, I've already, I have to say, I've used this in a concert and, and I really liked it. Um, it's got a, a couple of dents in it, but I see those as uh, battle scars. Um, we're gonna, it's going to happen. It looks great. And it feels great in the hand. I mean, look, it's really cool. out of it then but hey nobody's perfect I like that um, one thing I forgot to do is to test the intonation so let me do that right away let's see where we are because I adjust if I'm not careful, but that was a good, ooh, yeah, I would say that's, yeah, that's just about, that's officially sharp, so you'd have to be a bit careful with that, oh, it makes a lovely sound, uh, you take it out, so you'd have to be a bit careful with that, this one, certainly on my trombone, affects the intonation a bit more than the other one, and as I say, this is a very standard bell, this is nothing, um, nothing unusual. Um, now, we didn't try this one with the two. Again, there's the felt in there. If you use this for 20 years, which there's no reason why you wouldn't because the manufacturer's amazing. Let's see. We didn't try it without. Let's try it without. Here we go. That's got more unstable without it than, than the uh, regular one. Yeah, good, okay. Let's see if we can stabilize that a little bit. Hmm. It's, I don't think it's 
quite as good over all of the registers as the other one, but I do love the sound. Let's see if we use this small one. <laughs> Yeah, that's coming back. But you're not going to be playing much in a low range like this, let's face it. I'm being hypercritical. These are both really good pieces of kit, I have to say. I think I'm going to, if I was to give this an overall mark, I think I'd also give this one 96 as well, because as much as I love, I, I really love the sound, and it's great for the wah stuff. We do have a couple of the issues in the low register, you know, it does go into it, it fits really nicely into the hand, it's very cool. Um, I'm excited. You can see the little nerd in me coming out with these two mutes. I like both of them very much. I, what I like about this is we live in an era where you buy something on Amazon and six months later you buy another one and then a year after that you buy another one. You know, like hand blenders or irons or whatever. Things seem to be designed to break so you'll keep regularly buying them. I think if you pay 120 or 140 euros for this, then maybe the last Harman mutes that you ever buy. Ulven, handmade in Sweden, Lasse Lindgren Music Constellation. 96 points for both of them. I don't give that high a mark easily. They're really worth it.